shoes. Done. Where are my boots? Moving ahead. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Looking for steel? I have... of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more... eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? We've had enough rough to last us a good long while. Good luck to you then, and wish us some too. Here we go. Have you spoken to Korga? Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. Goblins are smart enough. Don't you lie to me, boy. I know you have it. 
Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I'm... Only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. bleeding hells okay maybe you don't need extra luck but since you're already holding the thing call it heads or tails tails it is see that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings I've got more where that came from real cheat too interested not so loud you caught me all right they're not lucky rings I'm just trying to earn money for my family my father left and my mother she's so sick I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets but it's all I have I uh, 
don't know what you mean. The hell it is. You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets because... Oh, damn. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? <laughs> no fooling you, is there? All right, get walking. Leave some room for the chumps, huh? Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. What? Um... I'm the guard? So, don't steal anything! I'm watching you. That's curious. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Show me again? Not now. We're working. <laughs> Remember? Should mind my step. <laughs> Just once. <gasps> yeah. Um, hi. Are you here to see my brother? Um, my partner, I mean. Um, both, of course. It's a family business. He sells the stuff, and I uh, don't sell the stuff. Right. So, look out! I'm watching you. Please, last room. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Rag Rochem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, step back. Go join the other tieflings. my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out the rest. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it.
Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. One meant to seal us in, meant to seal them out. Blasphemous. The Tree Father must see what's happening in his holy grove. Perhaps his eyes are on Master Halsin now. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come, Silver. Stay close. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. First, you urge grace. Then you speak truth. To think a devil could surprise me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Finally, let's have some fun.
The Outlander serves Zevlor. Circle to arms that no parasite live. The time has come. Remove the outsiders. Feet can carry me. On the victor's path. Go. Let's find some prey. seems willing to speak, but not to its killer. Defender of the people. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times.
Wonder if the gods are watching me. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. inside. That's curious. Here goes nothing. I need a quick word. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just... You're not versed in magic, are you? Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Go ahead. I'm listening. With pl
tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Courage in danger shadow. I love to see it. But shouldn't the shadow have crept closer? Gone darker by now? Before the Elithids' unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. I was rather enjoying my view of the ceiling. I'll forgive you. I'm mostly just thinking anyway. Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we meet this goblin priestess. Will she know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over?